What's up, gang? Um, I'm heading over to Jed's house to see if this knife or this blank here is 15 and 20, see if I got it annealed properly. Uh, we're going to use this Rockwell tester to see if this 15 and 20 blank, if, if it did, I'm going to make a knife out of it or I'm going to try to. It's like 0.08, I don't know, 80 thousandths, whatever blade stock so like I'm, I'm gonna attempt to he told me to bring any other knives that I wanted to so I'm bringing this knife right here it's a MT 33 from Taiching Taiching Taiwan it's in CPM rec 76 I've had excellent results out of it so far but I want to see what the Rockwell is on it I've been asked and I'm going by other people's words why do that when we can test it ourselves um, also gonna be taking this CPM s90 V paramilitary 2 uh, this was a uh, DNK. No, 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 no. No, DNK is my people. Um, I can't remember. It was. It's a sprint round of some sort, but it's a Golden Colorado CPM S90V. I haven't had the greatest luck out of this heat treat, um, so I'd like to see where the Rockwell is on it. And finally, we will be testing a uh, Spider Co Endura that is a. Uh, Seki City Japan knife and this is an old one and I've had really good luck out of this edge too so uh, just kind of want to see where everything stands um, taking other people's words for it why I do that we got a Rockwell tester right down the street and he don't mind us using it so let's take advantage of that um, so thanks Jed for letting us use your Rockwell tester and the next thing you'll see is us testing these knives thank you you guys have a great one so the Spider Co Mule Team 33 HRC is at 67. Is that 67? Yeah, pretty close. Pretty close. All right, 67. That's a uh, Taiwan. Got the PM2 and S90V. It's not going to be as hard as the Rec 76. Golden Colorado knife. Let's see where she's at. Fifty-four. Is that what that is? Fifty-four. Mm -hmm. This is calibrated, right? Calibrated. Jed's doing it this time because uh, I may have uh, set it up wrong. That's the PM two. It's like fifty-five. Fifty-five. Man, uh, eighty ten tested at fifty-eight. And S35 AM. I guess that's why it's outperforming it. In Japan, we have a Spider Co Endura. That'll be in the 50 state. Yeah, like but I've gotten pretty good performance out of this one. Fifty-seven, fifty-eight, something like that, brother. Right. This one, sir. All right. Well, that's there's your. Uh, I'm I'm surprised at the S ninety V. It is going through a coating, you know, like so. It may make a difference, but I haven't gotten the best results out of that knife, so I kind of believe it. You've seen it, you know. It's um, <clears throat> it is what it is. Thanks for watching. Uh, I don't expect this to be a very popular video. I know spider, sp you know, spider coat heat treats are supposed to be on par. I do believe that Seiki City Japan and Taiwan are doing much better jobs at getting peak performance, at, uh, you know, for their their knives. Um, uh, you know, like this is just in my personal experience. It's not, you know, like I could have got a bad knife, you know, like I'm and what I, you know, what I mean, like I love that pen too. So don't take it that way. I just, you know, it just doesn't hold an edge like S90V should. Uh, like it doesn't hold an edge versus any of the rest of the S90V knives that I've ever had. Uh, so I was I was curious if the heat treat was suspect. It does appear that it is. Uh, it did have to go through a coating, so the coating may have had something to do with uh, the you know <clears throat> the knife. I, I took my AD15 out of my pocket. I didn't get that on film, but I did, or I didn't get that on video. Uh, but I did, we, we got a 58 or uh, 50, uh, somewhere in between 58 and 59 HRC on it. Uh, and it's an S35VN and it outperforms my PM2 by two to one. You know, like I sharpen it half as, I can carry it 
for twice as long before it needs to be sharpened. Uh, is what I mean by outperforming it two to one. I don't mean it's outperforming it in the stainless area. Both both steels are pretty stainless, but S90V is one of those steels that's uh, it's a premium. It, you know, S90V costs a lot more than S35VN. If you go to like Alpha Knife Supply, one of those types of stores, and price some S90V, you'll see why people use S35VN a lot more uh, because S35VN is very affordable. So I guess my whole takeaway on everything is like I would much prefer have a S35 VN knife that's properly heat treated versus having a S90 V knife that isn't properly heat treated there's no sense in paying a premium even if you're Spyderco if you're Spyderco and you're paying a premium uh, to be able to use S90 V over S35 VN and you are like you know it, it's it's a much more expensive steel and, and you're not going to take the time to heat treat it properly, then why bother? You know, like, why why, why bother? Uh, I wouldn't have been disappointed if, uh, if the S90V would have been in 58 or 59. That's where it's advertised to run. It's not, it's not anywhere near that number. Uh, you notice I have, a, like, a, a laser inscription on the back. With, so we, when, we set, when Jed set it up, he tried to set it up to where the, 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 the tip of the Rockwell tester uh, was actually penetrating uh, a portion of the knife where the the, the 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 coating was gone. So we did get one point higher, but 55 S90V, it's ridiculous in my book. This is just my opinion. You know, um, it's why I don't, you know, I, 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 would, I would suggest anybody buy a Spider Co. for a good knife. Don't get me wrong. And even Golden Colorado, like you know, we've got some more Golden Colorado knives at the house, so like I could I could test some of those. Uh, got a CPM 20 CB sample at least, and uh, I'm not sure if I still have an S30V or not. But you know, I've, I've got plenty of knives. We've got an S45V in from Golden Colorado. That's my brother's, you know. Like, I, I, but I'm, I'm sure he wouldn't mind me testing it. But uh, you may see some more testing coming up in the in the future. Uh, I, I believe that's going to be the next machine that I purchase because. I, I really, we get into these debates, you know, about where uh, these companies are running their heat treats, and you know, of course you got fanboys, uh, and then you got people who hate them. You, know, you got people that are neutral like me. I'm not, you know, I'm not, I'm neither a fanboy, neither am I a hater. Uh, but uh, you know, like, so like, I don't care if I ever buy another Spyderco. You know, it doesn't matter to me. I, I'm not, I'm not sitting and patiently waiting on the next Spyderco drop. But it's a brand I would recommend if somebody's looking for a good knife. You know, like, so, like, it's, you know, but I'm, I'm not a fanboy, you know, just to put it simply. But those are the results. If you're still watching at this point, maybe some more machine, I mean, some more heat treats coming up. Because, like, with those manual heat, uh, Rockwell testers, it's real simple, man. You calibrate it. You calibrate it on a, on a piece of steel that is verified, um, you know, at a specific hardness. It doesn't have to be steel. It could be anything that's verified as a specific hardness. You calibrate it, and you know, then you uh, then you run your test. So, like you know, it's uh, it's the numbers are what the numbers are. You know what I mean? Uh, S ninety V Spiderco, my example anyway, my sample that I have is pass a strong pass. You know, like I, I it wasn't a very expensive knife, so I'm not upset. But it's just. Uh, it was, I think it was 178, something like that, you know, but and it was a gift as well. You know, my wife bought it for me. Uh, uh, like, so I, I very much appreciate the knife. It ain't going anywhere. I'm never going to get rid of it. It's my, my name's inscribed on the, on the side of it, but it's not a knife that I expect to get any kind of edge retention performance out of. You guys have a great one. We'll catch you on the flip side.